Hey everybody, my name is Chris Hayner. I am from Zap To It, and we are clearly here to talk about Gotham. Uh, we have so many of the cast here today, so I'm going to go ahead and bring them all out. Drew Powell, Jessica Lucas, Aaron Richards, Corey Michael Smith, Cameron Bikendova, Robin Lord Taylor, Ken McKenzie, Morena Baccarin, Michael Chiklis, Sean Pertwee, David Mazous, Chris Chaw, and executive producers Danny Cannon and John Stevens. And uh, I'm going to start with the man, man of the hour, Jim Gordon. Uh, ben, things were left with a bit of clarity for Jim at the end of last <laughs> season, and he set out to find his one true love. Yes. So yes. where do we see him when we pick up? Uh, well, love affairs in Gotham don't, don't go so well. Uh, he, uh, he did his best, but um, unfortunately things didn't, didn't work out. So we're six months in the future, and the monsters that have been unleashed on Gotham at the end of season two are turning the city into utter, utter total anarchy. And Jim Gordon is a bounty hunter, taking out the monsters and uh, getting paid. So it's a really dynamic beginning of season three. So is it safe to say he is not immediately reunited with Lee? That's uh, all he wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs> I made it all about myself. I it's really that. about you. <laughs> uh, you know, their, uh, their road will be long and winding. You know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, Marina, what can you say about what Lee has been up to? Because it's been a while since we've seen her. It's not really what she's been up to, it's who she's been up to. Oh, oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, Lee, you know, went through a few tough times. Um, I think she was hoping Jim would come find her and rescue her and all that good stuff. But, um, you know, the losing of their baby and uh, the way he went to jail and everything. So she's had to piece herself back together. Um, and the way we start the season is with Lee, not with Jim, and perhaps with a new love interest. What? <laughs> this is the first time hearing about this, folks. This is very upsetting. <laughs> well, hi. We hope that will bring her back to Gotham nonetheless, because it's Gotham City. It's where she belongs. It's where all of us belong. Um... There is an elephant in the room, and it is, there are two Bruce Waynes. So, for uh, Danny, Steven, and for David, what's the deal? What's going on? <laughs> Can't say much, can I? Um, I mean, I, the thing that I, I really wanted to you know, make clear going going into season three was that they're, it's, they're two different people, but with, but for some reason they look exactly the same, have the same kind of mannerisms and are basically almost the same person but they're not i'm not making any sense here <laughs> I, I, I really i really don't know how much i'm allowed to say I, I what i will say is that it's been a blast to play two completely different people in the same work day in the same couple hours it's been confusing on set as Sean so that's what i do yeah. um but it's it's been so much fun and as an actor it's the opportunity of a lifetime in terms of more studio away stuff. You guys should take that. <laughs> but we, I mean, we even moved from the premise that you, you can't have too many Bruce Wayne's, so we built another <laughs> one, and that Dot V doesn't work hard enough, so we make him work twice as hard now, which helps. When the character comes into the world, our point of view and the new Bruce Wayne that you'll see is like he comes in perhaps not knowing what he's there for, but he was created for a reason, and he has a mission which becomes clear to him over the course of uh, the season, and he's gonna have a huge impact both on Bruce's life and on Selena's life as well as as it goes forward. Well, and David, for you, how are you enjoying? David does work hard, by the way. So. How are you enjoying rock star hair? It's it's a wig, and I hate wearing that wig. <laughs> they put about 50 to 100 pink curls in my hair, and it just hurts by the end of the day, but, <laughs> but it's, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry, complain yeah. about that less, because eventually, big girls won't be an issue. Uh, well, Sean and Chris, uh, clearly Alfred and Lucius are the two, I mean, I feel like they're the only two adults that seem to 100% care about Bruce Wayne's best interests at this point. So, 
with any sort of danger this poses to Bruce, how are they dealing with that? And especially as he continues training to become the man we all know he's going to become. Well, with, with severe sort of trepidation, really. I mean, he doesn't have to, you know, Alfred doesn't really trust or like anyone in particular. And uh, so, so it's very confused, apart from you, of course, I have to say. <laughs> Calm down. There's only three, uh, <laughs> there's only actually three of us in sort of Operation Good Guys. There's only three people in Gotham seem to be good, really. So it's going to be interesting to see how they deal with the doppelganger effect. Yeah, I always think of uh, uh, myself and Alfred as the left brain and right brain of Bruce, because we both deal with things in completely different ways, and he just gets to pick and choose between the two of us. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Cameron, uh, if there is anyone besides Bruce that is Selena's best friend, it is Ivy. And as we know, there's a new version of Ivy coming to the show this season. Yeah. How is their friendship holding up? Um, <laughs> she feels bad we told her she couldn't say it. They, yeah, um, <laughs> I don't think they like each other, I guess. I, I mean, I, I don't, I don't know how to talk about it without specifically saying what happens because, and quite frankly, I don't know what exactly happens, um, but, uh, it's it's definitely what what I do know is that the roles will change from Ivy's perspective because you know Selena it's not that she looks down on Ivy it's just that you know Selena's older than her so she automatically feels this older sister connection to Ivy so she's called her kid she called like she tells her what to do basically so when the new Ivy arrives she's older than Selena and. Uh, I don't think that's going to go very well for Selena. So I'm just going to keep it at that. I don't know what else I can say. So. Well, I think that I think that's yeah. a fair answer. Uh, Robin and Corey. Yes. We all love. Yes. yes. <laughs> Woo! I think it's fair to say we all love scenes with Oswald and Ed, correct? Yeah. yeah. So how are we going to see this BFF ship that we all love so much grow? Well, uh, like like Ben had mentioned, we're we're um, we do a little jump here. We're six months into the future, and I'm still chilling in Arkham, uh, receiving gifts from this one. Uh, Take care of my. Phone. But why we don't know. Um, so you know, the the first thing that has to happen is um, there has to be a reckoning here because the last time we saw each other. I dismissed Oswald from my uh, apartment, tarred and feathered. Poor man. Uh, he deserved it. So, you know, in, 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 in Oswald's style, you know, will he seek retribution or, or will he kind of uh, become, you know, be willing to be friends again? Oswald? Well, I, I, well, so in light of what happened to Penguin last year, uh, losing uh, both of his parents, and basically being cast out by everyone that he trusted up until that point, you know, there is a big, you know, hole in his life now. Like, he needs people to trust. Like, he, you know, like, his relationship with Jim is, is strained at the moment, um, and he knows that to be powerful, he needs... <laughs> strained, put it mildly, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and so he, yeah, he, needs, he needs allies, he needs people on his side, and, and I think, uh, yeah, the connection that he has with with Nigma just falls right into that. Yeah, so his heart is open and he's ready for... <laughs> he's ready for love. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to jump into fan questions here in a second, so if you have something you want to ask the cast, go ahead and start lining up. But I want to jump back to Corey for a minute because we are slowly seeing Ed spiral, spiral, spiral down. And... You yourself are wearing, I believe, the GCPD shirt with that green question mark. Yeah. So how close are you get how close are you gonna be getting to Riddler this year? Are you are you looking forward to kind of taking on more and more of those character traits? Um I what I what I think is really exciting um is uh when when I get out of Arkham, uh you know, I'm I'm a completely different person here, and it's kind of this 
clean slate. I'm a, you know, I, I will be a free person in Gotham uh, with no alliance to the GC. And uh, <laughs> I get to kind of like, you know, I'm, I've now I've now embraced this darker side of me. I have kind of explored my skill set framing this one, uh, you know, and I have a hopefully have a friend in Oswald. I just get to begin again. And so like as like a man, not as a boy anymore, like as a man, I get to like kind of decide who I want to be. And I don't have to worry about anything that I've done in the past. So it's a, it's a really exciting place to start. Excellent. Uh, do we have fan questions now? I'm here. Hi. Oh, there you are. Hi. Oh, there you are. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So I'm so excited. Um, first of all, Ben, I've loved you since the OC. So. Um, <laughs> Me too. Uh, but I just want to ask, you know, there's some several of you who are playing very iconic characters. So what are some of the uh, challenges and joys of playing those characters? Oh, well, I think we all, you know, uh, understood the responsibility that we had to be true to the origins of these characters in terms of at least the sort of, you know, aesthetic of them, their their demeanor, their ambitions, things like that. And we also got to create them anew. We got to, you know, infuse them with with our own special take and and bring life to them in a brand new way. And so um, I just did the same thing all my castmates did. And I think uh, they did a pretty good job, right guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, my question is for anyone who would like to answer, what character from the Batman universe would you like to see on the show or see more of? I want to I, I wanna see Harley Quinn. <laughs> I've always, I say that all the time, but that that's who I want to see. But I also think that it would be really great to have Cameron Monaghan back. Amen. I'm sad. Yeah. yeah. He's in the only one answer. <laughs> Bane, 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 Bane. I would pick Bane. Yes. Bane. <laughs> Bane. So Bane. Bane. I love you guys so much. Oh, thank you. So. What's your favorite thing about your character? Uh, in my case, I, it would be uh, Oswald's ambition and his refusal to uh, uh, to be bullied anymore. I think mine would be like loyalty, um, unbridled loyalty, and learning to love. I think mine would be um, Barbara to sort of adapt and change to whatever specific circumstances happening at the time. Um, in this in this season, uh, we've spent six months. Uh, the six months that you know we've, we've been away for in the in the story, building a club called the Sirens that we will be running at the beginning of season two, which is Savvy and Barbie. Yep. So all of the kind of uh, Naughty characters from Gotham will be passing through our club in this season, so that's going to be really exciting for us. So I think it's kind of, for me, it's like a, a moment for Barbara to kind of come into her own. So that's my favorite thing about it is that she can change into all these different people, and then like now I feel like she's coming to be the person that she's always wanted to be in this in this fabulous club, The Sirens. <laughs> I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think for me, it's uh, Bruce's maturity. That um, I think a lot of people, uh, Bruce goes into situations and he um, handles himself as an adult, and people in Gotham treat him as an adult, and that's something that uh, I love about him. My favorite part of, about Selena is her complexity. I find her to be full of contradictions. She's honest, she's brutally honest, but she's also very dishonest. She's lost, but she's very confident. She's uh, intuitive, and uh, I, I just love how complex she is, and I love that she shows she's so emotional while she's trying to hide her emotions. So um, that would be the main thing that I love. Um, mine for Tabitha is her, her physicality and her presence. I love that she can wield so much power without having to say much. 
Yeah. <laughs>